open up with rivals Yarmouth and Greeley, who for the first time in two decades play in separate tournaments come February, but still a heated rivalry in the regular season. Greeley put up 39 in the first half, a 24 point lead. Matt McDevitt from three, he had 24. Then Yarmouth trying to get a rally going. Nice inbounds play to Devin Shields Oval. But this was the Jordan Bagshaw coming out party. And unfortunately for Yarmouth, they got an invite. 27 points, seven threes for the junior. Then nice ball movement. Shane DeWolf to Ben Williams inside. 72 57. Greeley stays unbeaten. York visiting Falmouth down the road for Falmouth. Thomas Coyne filling up the stat sheet. The floater inside off the handoff for two. He had 32. Other way, Trevor Labani of York. Had a big game. Ben Simons here. Nice dish inside for two. But going back to Labani, the aforementioned, the other way, the spin move and the floater for two. But Coyne, 32 points, six assists, seven steals. This time to Matt Wolbrook, 68 34, Falmouth with the win. Freiburg at Cape Elizabeth. The Raiders, a young team, but don't tell freshman Oscar Saunders. The drive and the finish inside for two and one. Capers, a veteran team. Marcus Donnelly, the other end. The senior pulls up, knocks down the three. Finn Bovey, the sophomore, post seals, finishes 46 33 Cape. They won two straight. Poland hosting rival Gray New Gloucester tonight. John Henry Villanueva, the three for the Knights, or rather for the Patriots. He had 15. This time it's the Knights' Kurt Slayton. Layton from downtown, his own three. Then on the break, Layton this time finds John Fawcett, who had a team high 14, 61 55. Poland with the win. All right, big double A South matchup in Waterboro. Gorham without head coach Mark Carter out sick tonight against Massabesic. Massabesic's defense setting the tone. Isaac Desvern is the steal and lay in. Mustangs by 14 in the second half. But does anyone have better handles than Jackson Fodder of Gorham? Pressured all night, breaks the trap, gets into the front court. Then, what, oh, he's going nowhere? Then he's going somewhere. Beautiful play, coast to coast for the finish. Other way, Dan Amabile, the step back three. Mustang's still in charge. But Gorham responds. Logan Drew, a nice look to Billy Ruby, who had 22. Gorham within three, with three left. But Massabesic turns up the D. Amabile to Desvernes, the lead up to five. 74 61, Massabesic to win. Tyus Ripley in this one, 29 points, including 11 for 11 from the field. Unbeaten Deering hosting Sanford. Sanford had an early lead. Matt Romano in the corner, steps up, you can count it. His opposite number, 23 for the Rams, Anthony Labor drives left, uses the right at the rim, 25 turnovers the Rams forced tonight. Then Labor, the outlet to Ben Williams, he was pretty good from the floor tonight too. 13 for 14, he had 27, 67, 38 Deering. Robbery game in Saco, Biddeford and Thornton Academy. As we go down to Saco, non-conference game though tonight. TA up 13 in the third. Jack Tilly, the ball hawk, the senior with the steal and the lay in his team up 15. Then off the miss, Rome Pura going to work. 77 42, Thornton Academy with the victory. All right, Chevers traveling to Scarborough. Stags out and running. Austin Boudreau, the outlet to Jack Casal. Nice touch at the rim. Then Boudreaux, another outlet. This time again to Casal, who gives it up to Trey Fletcher to Tobias Efren. Just enough to hold off Scarborough. 62 58, the Stags win. Every little hosting Brunswick. First half, we pick up the action. Caleb Coast. Ooh, they had the lights off for a second in Edward Little. Caleb Coast with the lights on. He can hit him with the lights off, too. He had 18. For Yale, Austin Cox, the offensive board, gives it up to Samatar Iman for two. Corbin Teal answers the other way for the Dragons with a putback. He had 16. 67 35. Brunswick a road win. Levin hosting Oxford Hills. Tough matchup for the Hornets. Everyone is a tough matchup when Andrew Fleming's on the other side. Look out below. Then Cole Barrier. The more conventional hoop from downtown. The three, 63-30. Oxford Hills, the big win tonight over the Hornets. Lewiston hosting Coney. Coney down early. Matt Murray trying to lead a comeback. Nice drive down the middle. But the other way for Lewiston. Salat Hassan breaks the press, finds Abdin Azak for the, uh, the basket. He had 28, 64-36. Lewiston the win. Brewer hosting Mesolonsky. James Lathrop with the short jumper for Mesolonsky. They had the lead early, but Brewer comes back for the 56-51 win. Brewer rallies Matt Pouchard, the nice finish here. All right, on the girls' side, Wyndham looking to remain perfect, hosting Scarborough tonight. This came down to the wire. Wyndham down six to start the fourth quarter. Sadie Nelson with a block for the Eagles. 
Eagles. Maya Minette is off and running, and they get it down to three eventually. But Scarver turns up the D. Josie Kucher, the steal, ahead to Sophie Glidden, who is huge down the stretch. 45 to 40, Scarver with the road win. All right, Chuck a Duck Knight at Greeley. Rangers hosting Yarmouth for the first of the doubleheader. Anna DeWolf penetrates, kicks to Mora Train for three. Greeley starts 8 0. Then Train returns the favor on the Yarmouth turnover. She finds DeWolf. DeWolf had 23 in this one, and Greeley with the 40 to 27 win over Yarmouth. Greeley stays perfect on the season with the victory against the Clippers. Poland hosting Gray. Knights trail by 14 in the second half, but rally. Morgan Brousseau for three. The lead is down to six. And then Natalie Terrio, the hoop and the foul. Knights down three with 90 seconds to go. Under a minute to play. Alicia Dumont for Gray steps up to Ashley Jordan for the lay in. Patriots only field goal in the second half, and they win 39 to 30. Sokopee visiting Old Orchard for the Hawks. They're going to attack the glass. Jen Palkovich on the weak side in the right place at the right time for the putback as they take a lead early on. Later on, Vanessa Hebert, the three for the Hawks, and Sokopee goes on the road for the nice 40 to 23 win. All right, what's been in some NBA to close?